um, you know, in, in pretty much any ma matchup. So go ahead and do the intros. Feel free to. All right. How about you start with one of them? Oh, sure. Okay. So in the top left, we have our orange Zerg. That is Fat Chunk. Bottom right, we have a purple... T I'm sorry, a purple... A pink Terran, and his name is Pop-Tart. Right. A little trivia, Pop-Tart is from S Southern California. Really? Yes, he is. That's uh, not uncommon. Nice place to be. And it's only like 6 o'clock there, right? So. That's right. Pretty early. Let me just check the uh, chats and everything a while, make sure there's no uh, shenanigans going on. Yeah, I don't see anything too crazy. You probably want to put yourself put yourself on busy, but... <laughs> <laughs> there. There's nothing too crazy happening in the game yet. There's no crazy cheese going on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks okay, like, uh, it, it looks like uh, Fro uh, FG Legend, our, our friend Elite Legend, made it into the tournament tonight. Alright. I think he'll be kind of a favorite, yeah? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I see Fat Chunk's heading out with a drone scout uh, relatively early. He's going cross position. He knows, I think it's force crossed, uh, right? Uh, so, um, I think both players realize that. And yeah, it appears, we, it Mike. appears that Pop Tart is probably going for something like a one racks expand. He hasn't laid down his gas at normal timing yet. And we'll go hatch first for the Zerg Fat Chunk. So we'll, we'll see his pool any moment now. Keep talking. Keep I'm going to check out something in sure. the open bracket here. <laughs> no problem. That's cool. So there goes the pool for uh, Fat Chunk on normal. Uh, uh, hatch first timing, and um, I don't know what Pop Tart is. Oh. Yeah, Pop Tart's going uh, one max expand, like I uh, mentioned earlier. And uh, Pop Tart, uh, in fact, I mean Fat Chunk definitely knows what's going on here. He saw no gas, uh, pretty standard setup for um, the one max expand. So uh, Pop Tart now getting both of his gases in his main. And uh, Pop Tart sees the uh, the hatch just about to finish for Fat Chunk. Pool is down. Maybe get maybe one set of lings out. Both queens are coming for Fat Chunk. And we'll see what kind of uh, path Pop Tart is going to choose to follow here. He's scouting around his base, looking for any uh, drones that were still hiding in there. Like that that one did get out, but I'm not sure he saw where it went. So. Um, Unfortunate for Pop Tart. Pop Tart is one of those. Uh, he, he's a. Uh, uh, if if you watch the if you've ever watched the Brood War, uh, the pro Brood War scene with Fantasy. You know how you know how Fantasy plays. Mm -hmm. uh, he's always like coming in second or third or whatever. You know. Well, this is Pop Tart. Pop Tart has gotten to the finals so many times and has not won a Daywalker. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's the Kong. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and again tonight he gets this really strong player in Fat Chunk. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, already such a huge supply lead. Um, Pop Tart was patrolling his SCV at the third of Fat Chunk, and uh, Fat Chunk came over and, and, uh, and killed that, S that patrolling SCV with this initial pair of lings that's coming across the map. Oh, here we go. Two lings going to march them themselves into the natural. Just coming in to poke to see and make sure the command center's there, uh, like he expects. Of course, this uh, Marine, the bunker, you know, ward them off, but uh, they're just there to con confirm what he thought was happening. Switching the factory over to the reactor is going to get some Hellions out, no doubt. And he puts a starport down. So this is a 1-1-1 one, one, one off of Expand here for the Terran player. So he could be going for Hellion drops here. I, I'm a big fan of making cars, as I've told you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, That's Hellions. the last I'll call them cars, I promise. Well, you know, I, as the closest thing in the game to a car is definitely a Hellion. I mean, come on. <laughs> 
four wheels, you know, and and, and your uh, um, and your and your uh, like your man cave afterburner on top. You know what I mean? It's exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the double Evo coming down for a fat chunk. He's got both of his gases going uh, in his main for a little while now. He's got speed on the way. Uh, we have a Viking. Yeah, I like it. Well, this is this is a pop tart style. He likes to go uh, overlord sniping. Yeah, that's a good idea, especially if you're gonna follow it up with a drop. Yeah. So take away the Zerg's vision. Actually, uh, uh, um, just just to give you, it, it's not Pop Tart style to drop. He, what he's going to do is get the uh, Medivax for his Marine army that he's going to have after this play. Ah, okay. That's why he's he's going to have uh, Marines and tanks probably after this, and then go, uh, you know, Medivax like that. To see these two these two queens sitting uh, at the ramp will certainly be able to hold off these. Uh, these Hellions, but we'll see if they, we can control the creep uh, or whatever. Yep, yep. These Hellions are going to not poke in. They're going <laughs> to hide themselves. <laughs> or try to, at least. Meanwhile, there are Medivacs and Stim, Stim is on the way uh, at the same time. One one upgrades for melee on the way for our Zerg Fat Chunk. Uh, yeah, he is getting a uh, lair uh, somewhere. Yeah, lair is natural. I j that I just thought that, that what, what I said about the afterburner that makes so much sense. Why can't that uh, um, why can't the pre-igniter pre turn around and act like a boost to those hellions and make them go faster? Yeah, you know, it seems like it should. It um, should. It, it it faces backwards, I think, whenever yeah. they're yeah dropping like said sometimes. Oh, we're getting the surround from the blames. Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dying, Let's see how many units were killed there. Nine Zerglings have been killed so far. That's a lot of lings. Bane yep. Nest uh, on the way for uh, Fat Chunk as well. Oh, one more Hellion does go down. Three Hellions are left. And uh, smartly, the Zerglings do not try to chase into the natural of the Terran. But, nope. He looks like he is going to go for an attack. Here comes the Zerglings now, funneling into the uh, Terran natural. The wall is not completely up. I won't be shocked if he pulls back and makes some banelings for this. He's losing a lot of links beating on that wall. 23, 24, 26, 30. 31. <laughs> yeah, this is just kind of a waste of links, it looks like. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he can justify breaking down the um, supply depots in favor of losing all those links. I, I don't know about that play there. Because that didn't hurt the Terran at all, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, he's continu the Terran's continuing to produce a lot of bio. <laughs> yeah. um, it is 50 to 39 workers, um, though, so um, I think Pop-Tart's got some catching up to do in, in the economy. Yep, for sure. We're getting both gases now at the natural for the uh, Zerg player. He does have a lair at the natural. And Infestation Pit um, is, is uh, going down already. Um, yep. Failing speed being researched. For the Zerg player, the Terran is getting a uh, plus one, getting shields also. So yeah, upgrades going on here. The mid game is upon us. So we'll see what the uh, two players have for the for our mid game. We know Infestors are going to be on their way for the Zerg player, and we have the Marines already starting out for the Terran. He has his canopy of medevacs sitting there also. Zergling run by into the natural again and gets more roasted. So, I'm surprised there's no banelings involved in this. Game. I know, I know. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, we're going to call this game uh, Over the Coals Zerglings because oh, uh, that's what we've seen so far. <laughs> there's a, a lot of gas getting banked up for the Zerg, so there's going to be a lot of investors popping out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Really <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, it looks like Pop Tarts ready to push out a little bit. Um, so, I, I'd expect some Banes to be on the way. There's, there's a few Banes being made. Scans, um, takes out some creep tumors, using the Viking as vision. I love it, I love it. Fat Chunk needs to be careful not to take a bad engagement here. I mean, um, Pop Tart is coming on to creep, but he needs to, needs to, both players need to watch what angle they're coming from here and not take a bad engagement. Um, Pop Tart already spreading out his Marines a little bit. And uh, surprisingly, Pop Tart's making it a good ways in here. He's still making some more, uh, Fat Chunk's making some more Banelings. Oh, just fun going the Hellions. Yep. 
What kind of damage can the Zerg do? We're gonna find out right now. Can the Terran a pretty good beat spread this? Here for the Terran. Oh, nice fungals on almost everything. Yeah, and Banelings knocking down pretty much all the bio. Just reminds me of the Husky song, Banelings, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Banelings, Banelings. Oh, man, oh, this is... Yeah, I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... That pretty much cleaned up the uh, the Terran force that was pushing out there, and I think that the Zerg is going to come back, going to be able to come back out and take map control again. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the Zerg now has a, a supply lead, 121 to 90, so 30 supply lead here for the Zerg player, and increasing by the minute. Uh, I don't know if the Ter uh, Terran is smart by putting his army out here like this. There's a lot of Zerg forces here now in the middle of the map. Uh, uh, th there is a spire going down, if you notice, for the Zerg. Uh, oh. The Zerg also did get a bridge born down while, while all of that was going on. Oh. Six more Infestors popping out, so this is going to be a pretty great um, Ling Infestor army with the uh, Mutas joining it uh, momentarily. Nope, that's, that's not for Mutas, that is for Broodlords. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good point, uh, because the uh, Hive is over halfway done. For Corruptors, actually. He's gonna make Corruptors and then make Broodlords. Uh, oh, Fungals on everything there. This whole army's gonna die. Poptar's not in a good situation here. He's down, he's down about, what, 40 supply again. 30 supply, I, I guess, right now. As that engagement in the middle, uh, he was able to clean up the Zerg army, but the Zerg supply is still high. Yeah, and it, the, the economy lead is astound, astounding. 73 to, to 40 workers, so mm -hmm. um, the Zerg is going to be able to to, re to re max on this just easily. Um, and the Terran's not even trying to take a take a third. Uh, now he's just going to try, but he's going to fail because there's a Ling sitting there. <laughs> yep, more Zerglings streaming across the map as fast as they can. Going to take out this Hellion that's sitting there in the Zomaga Tower, and down it goes. Yeah. No sweat for them. Terran is taking, trying to take a third. Uh, I gotta say, at this point in the in the game, I, I can't see that this third lasts very long uh, with the kind of force that the Zerg player is going to have. The number of infestors that he has on the map is quite scary. What race do you play, by the way? Um, I am Terran. Oh, okay. I'm a terrible so, yeah. Terran, though. So there you go. This this many infestors is kind of scary for a Terran player, especially a Terran that's making Marines. Oh, okay, there we go. The drops are now going to start. The, he's taking two medevacs to the right side of the map here. And uh, these Zergling, are they going to poke into the third? Yes, they are. They're going to poke in here and cancel the, the, uh, the uh, command center. That's right. And uh, now the uh, contain is going to start. He's going to just park his army right here in front of the, these two bases. And there's nothing that Terran can do about it. I mean, there's nothing that the Ter Terran is making that can f force the Zerg away at the moment. Now, this drop... You know, could do a little bit of damage. That's that's uh, two medevacs full of uh, full of marines. Yep, it um, is. There's not really a lot back there to deal with it. But you no. know, this is just too much. That the, the damage has been done. It's too late. That's a lot of stuff here for the uh, Zerg. And he puts down infested Terrans. You yeah, know this why? Because this, this <laughs> GG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and and you know why he put down the festive Terrans? Because he had too much energy. He like he he used all his fungals on everything. <laughs> he just had enough to put down. He had more even to put down infested Terran. <laughs> GG, well played from. Pop